He spoke to me quite intimately about his business and personal affairs until he knew that I had a clear understanding of the complex nature of his estate. He told you everything? Yes, I believe he did. Y'all know Colonel Ainsworth Rutherford, Charles Bowes. By reputation, I do indeed. Privilege, sir. I appreciate the flattery, son, and let's just hope that the goodwill continues on in the weeks to come. Henry Dixon has hired the Colonel to contest the will. On what grounds? Birth records are incomplete. We've been through a war. Records have been lost, burned, destroyed. There's no grounds on which to base Maybe it. Maybe so in Atlanta. We were spared here in Hancock County. Now, if there's something irregular, Henry's betting a smart lawyer's going to find it. A waste of good money, you ask me. Well, son, it's not you he appears to be asking. Is it? auditioned me for the part. Said he didn't want a country lawyer drafting a will that a city lawyer like me could turn on its ear. And everything's in good hands as per his wishes. Ms. Dixon, I would appreciate you staying on. At least till we're out of the woods. Your uncle, he seems quite agitated. Ms. Dixon? Ms. Dixon? surprised what he did. You're his only child. Nothing surprises me in this family. Will you be staying long? What I do is no concern of yours. Not now. Not ever. Amanda, I... Why are you here? Hmm. It's been a long time. Nearly 11 years. What do you want to say, Julia? Only that it's good seeing you again. David Dixon was a man no different from you or I. He worked hard as he lived, and when he died, he left certain legally binding instructions that a percentage of his estate be distributed to Amanda America Dixon, his natural daughter. Now, this relationship between father and daughter is unassailable. Thank you, Your Honor. Is Amanda Dixon David Dixon's natural daughter? How the hell do I know? I wasn't present at the event of her conception. 